How's it going guys? Welcome back. This is Keith. This is a video of another one of my Suzuki Alto Works kits. I did hold, I sent out a couple to a couple of people and I am um, built one in the Advan kit as you can see. The 1987 original kits. Um, I got a few of them to send out and I sent them out to the guys I had them for. But eh... Uh, I have another one here for another guy and he'll be getting that sent out this week. I'll be contacting him, he knows who he is. Um then again I might not post this till after I post his mail. So I can leave it in the end of the video that it's on its way. Do you know what I mean? So now I'll just show you what's in the kit. It's an original Fujimi Suzuki Alto Works. 2 and one basically track edition or street edition i built the track edition and this is the street version i'm gonna do next so that's the side skirts the front bumper and the back bumper the exhaust are mangy things like, like the tips are molded in Right, I'm, put, I'm gonna put on the street version a proper exhaust. Like you can modify it, it's an old kit. Um, cool little kit though. K car, Suzuki Alto. Anyone for, like that knows that about the ADM cars know that they're, they're used for off roading and everything and track racing and everything else. In the picture on the box art, they have BDSs. I'm gonna put BDSs on my street version one. So um yeah so here it is right hand drive as you can see it has little clips at the end of the seats if you look there there's little clips they pop into them lines so it's like a clip together but I add blue same as the shifter you get two or three steering wheels side skirts there are the axles beside the mirrors plastic axles it's a 1987 kit, as I said. It's an original 1987 kit. There's the racy with the engraved seatbelt buckle. You can always just throw them um, decals over them to make them stand out more. Put a hole in the center there of the bucket seat. It's a bright seat. To me, it's a bright seat. Over in Japan, they're called bread. But... They're spelled B R I D E. So in English we call them bread, but in Japan they're called a bread. See? And that's the cage also with that sprue. Also, then for the Alta Work Sports version, uh, like that's the sides of the spoiler. These two here. There's the torch steering wheel, there's the bonus scoop. The hood scoop. There's the um. There's the wheel you only get with the kit. But uh, there's the the um interior tub. As you can see, you can turn the interior into a stripped interior or roll cage, or you can use the four seats that come in the kit. And the back seats fall down. They're very good. De uh, these decals are in very good uh, shape. So whatever sh ones are in very good shape, I'm gonna send in the kit to our friend on the the channel. He knows who it is. I told him I have a K car for him. He builds K cars, he likes K cars like myself. He actually built a Honda B and a Daihatsu. Same little mini cars I have from Japan built. If I show you this quickly. There's my little Daihatsu down there, the blue one. Look on this light. I'm on the phone lad so I'm holding it, it's a bit shaky. I haven't got the uh, lights on in there. Thing. 
There's another few on my builds that not a few years might not have seen. So I do a lot of um, I like to do a lot of K cars because I'm, I'm actually a fan of Japanese small K cars. It's the last build, I, last two builds I've done: the Ghostbusters and the '98 Porsche. These are all old builds. It's the egg plane from this year, SLS Ravel. The truck down the very end, the, the kit that Jeff. Jeffrey Tree sent me. Shout out to him. Then that's just a few of the additions. I'm going to do the diorama. There's my silver that I'm building on the side. Done it down the yellow. But this is a whole has a street and everything with it and a tram line and everything so and I have an extra tram line base for this kit from ICM or mini art so uh, it's going to be getting added so it's a bigger street longer street and I can add a car or something in the background or something but anyway back to the video on hand I'm sending this kit out to one of the guys who has built K cars on his channel. I've been in chat with him. I told him I'd send it. I was meant to send it a couple of weeks back. I never got around to doing it. But one of these kits when I sent it out to my buddy Seamus happened to get to him with a damaged roof. The pillars were damaged and that was because the postman had been up his way, had been damaging a lot of his mail around that time. He was getting a lot of damaged mail. And I was saying to him, that's definitely the postman. Has to be like volleying your boxes around because they do that. Some postmen like, hate their job, but they do it anyway, you know, but they don't do it right. It's like when they throw packages on the people's porches and they're able to be stolen and all. That's why I hate when I send the package out to somebody, I want them to get it. Do you know what I mean? I'll put, um, I won't actually, I won't, I'll um, upload this video. I'm gonna build my one of these three now. I'm at the show and it's the answer. It's 1988, there you go. I has on a copyright 1988 there's the box that I have one of the you see in the R30 skyline in red there on the shelf I have a few of these Torinos and Sprinters and a couple of I have nearly every car here well I have every car here but not in them liveries but again this is a um, kit is going out to a friend of uh, I think he's over in, I don't know if you're in Spain or you're, you're not in the DOS or anyway, I'm sure you're not in the US, probably Canada maybe, but anyway, yeah, I told him I'd send him this here week, so I never got around to doing it, I'm going to get this in the post and the giveaway kit that was won by D Factory Rack Craig. His kit, the two of these kits are getting posted this week. So, um, yeah, this is going out to a friend. You know who you are if you're watching. This is the K kit you're getting. Um, I'll put something inside the body to um, stop it from caving in. Or I'll put something in the box to stop it from being able to be squashed in on top of itself. Like... It won't go any further than whatever I have inside the box, say. Eh? You know, just to reinforce it. Because I don't want to happen to the, get the same stuff. But everyone else has got to them perfect. It was just shame. Shame as this one got to them. 
damaged. It was fixable because I got at the model show, I got the um, DB5 Airfix for the small scale group build. The next one, I got it on 135th scale and the roof was collapsed on it, meaning the pillars were bent down, but I've had it. Something inside it, uh, an elastic band doubled over it, straightening it, and so to the opposite side. Now to put strain on the elastic band to, to straighten the roof up, and then I heat heat it up gently, let it cool down, heat it up, and I kept down that and I fixed it. So that's ready to go for them, um, the small scale group build. But this is going out to a friend, and anyway, just a little quick unboxing. And uh, to let them know that I haven't forgotten, and it is on its way. Just give me a chance now to get it out to the post office this week, and I'll get it out to you. Because I haven't, I haven't actually seen him in the comments. He must have been busy working or something. Um, I haven't seen him or even upload a video. So, uh, yeah, he sent me photographs of a, a, a lot of decals. I needed decals. I asked him uh, for certain cards. So I asked them to send me clear photos of them so I can photocopy them onto decal paper. If you get me, the photograph onto decal paper. So uh, he done that for me as well. So he said to me, look, you don't have to send me anything. I said, ah, no, you like K-Cars. I wonder, it's there, no problem. I already built... The one on the box art, as you can see, and the one behind it now, is going to be done the same, only it's going to be a street version. It's going to have the race seat in it, it's going to have the roll cage in it, but it's also going to have a stock seat in the passenger. And it's going to have, probably have the back seats in it. So, uh, it won't have the livery, it'll be my own colour. Maybe I'll go with the red, because they do look good in red, or they'll be looking at them in Japan. They do little rally courses off-roading in the they do over in Japan, still to this day. They're even starting to do them in the, the Suzuki Swift now because they come with a turbo. These were a little Suzuki turbo at the time. These were a, a turbo. And they were able to be fixed on motor, motorbike parts, the engines were. So, yeah. So I'm gonna build one of these on the side also, it won't take long, they're more or less like a clip together and then just add a little bit of glue and then paint it up and do whatever I'm adding a set of BBS's that are the right size for it. As you can see they like BBS's on the back. You can see the dish there and on the front. Um, they're not the wheels that come in the kit. It's a shame, but uh, yeah, you get just the stock plain Suzuki wheels, hug cap wheels style type. But um, I'm sure he has a set because he has built a couple of K cars, as I said. Okay, lads, so let's just go. This is a 13 long minute visit on the YouTube video. So, looking forward to the group build is starting tomorrow. I'll upload a video on that here. I still have my Lotus Super 7 that I'm going to be building on the side too. And I've been doing some 3D printing. I am keep getting a lot of fail prints. But I'm printing an RX-7. Full RX-7. For Tamiya FD RX-7 R1 body kit. Uh, I have to print each piece individually because every time I try to add a couple they keep failing so I have the back split all done I have the, the back canards that add on to the splitters done I have the front lip done I have one of the front fenders done I have to do another front fender and two rear fenders then I also bought a set of there is well, you can buy out there nearly that's over in the US. They call it Blitz O3 wheel. I bought um, the STL foil for them wheels, and I'm after 3D printing three sets of them so far with the bullet 
lug nuts. Now you can 3D print them. We're all as three pieces like we've done the last sets of wheels like with the nuts and the the barrel and the the face but you can also just 3d print the deeper dish back wheel with the nuts and the front wheel with the smaller dish with the nuts so i just printed the full scale wheel the full 124 scale wheel already with the nuts already molded and all with the nice details still stick out in them so um yeah i'll show them in the next video also well, i'm sorry for rambling have a good day let's stay safe t2 model on bye, -bye.